What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great blessed day and yeah. Let's get into this video. So today's gonna be a uh, a freaky video. Uh we found out this what we saw a couple days ago. Freaked us out a little bit. Um uh, but we're trying to figure out what we saw. So uh uh, we, me and my mom kind of watched that, and when we were watching it, we saw this thing, and it was, it called, it was called the dire wolf, it was just like, it was like a myth of a wolf that came back from, like, it was, like, frozen, then came back to life, and then now breeded, and had wool, uh, bait, like, cubs, and now they're everywhere. There's a rumor going around that there were, it's actually true. And we're thinking, ah, nah, it's not true. And then we find this on the floor. So, uh, so remember, we're in Texas. Only big animals that we have here are mountain lions. They can get big, but they can't get big, big. So look. So yeah, you can see that perfectly. So yeah, there's a paw there, a paw there, a paw there, a paw there, and a paw. This thing might look small right now. No, it looks big. It's a, uh, look, just for reference. Here's the egg carton. This is the size of the egg carton. It's about the size of the egg carton, lengthwise. So yeah, it's big. So, freaking out a little bit. It's scaring us, for sure. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's it's cool to see them on TV shows. Like, oh, Dire Wolf might be at your house. But when it's actually probably at my house, I don't like it at all. So yeah, that today's gonna be about, uh, we're gonna check the game cam, see if we find anything on there. And yeah, stay tuned. Like and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah, so, that was, so look, sorry, I gotta pause this again. Pause right there, see it? Right there. The chicken coops, right there. So, that's not good for my chickens. It, the night that we found it, I was scared to death. Not for my life, not to just come out here. I'm scared for my animals. People that know me know that I love my animals and will protect them to the day, my last breath. They know that because I love my animals. And I I cannot see one, not even, just not all of them, just one. I can't see one die. Yeah, I, I would be broken. So I try my best to keep them safe. We have a game cam about right there you see on that tree there's a game cam right there uh, that we like I was saying we're gonna show the game cam and we'll show some of the stuff that we find there so yeah stay tuned to that <laughs> yeah stay tuned like I said earlier Stay tuned, uh, stay safe.
gonna run run back up here to get them. But yeah. I'm good. So like I was saying, uh yeah, it's weird. Like you don't think um, that ever is gonna happen. You don't think you're gonna ever see like something paranormal and you do like this kid this could mean so many different things. It could have just been something that stepped on there and made that print that made, made it look like a dog print but i don't know uh comment down below what you guys think it could be because the weird thing is that it could have been so smart that it know not to go in the mud and to go on the gravel because we have a pathway going all the way down to the very bottom of the property and then all the way back up to the gate and it's all made out of gravel so it really it's really hard to make a print but in mud it's easy to make a print so that's how you like that's how you, that's how you hunt and everything you find a print and everything and that's how you that's how you hunt so we're just thinking we're trying to figure out i looked up uh what's the biggest bobcat caught on camera or not caught on camera um like killed or hunted and it wasn't that big <laughs> I love the mountain lion. It was pretty big. I'm just thinking because one time um, uh, a lion was, a lion escaped. Uh, it was like in a zoo around where I lived. And we're thinking like, is it still out there? And it came over here and that's why the print's so big. And we're just thinking, it literally looks like a bear. And we're in Texas and there's no bears in Texas. So we're just thinking, and yeah, uh, we're thinking to bury, bury, barricade the chicken cube, make it better. We're just thinking that so many things to do, but yeah, I'll keep you guys, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, probably gonna cut to the footage of us checking out the uh, game cam, and we might get more, so if you can see over there in that corner, we're thinking about getting. We're thinking about getting more game cans coming down this way because the footprints over there behind us, and the cam the game cams coming this way. So we're thinking, we're thinking, we're thinking about doing more stuff. Like I said, we're thinking about getting guineas or a turkey. Different stuff. We're just thinking. Stay tuned to the channel, guys, because you guys are gonna like what's coming. So stay tuned. Uh, and yeah. I'm trying to think what else new has happened. Uh, I showed you guys Oreo. She's doing really nice or good. And yeah. I think that's it. I'll see you guys over there when we're checking out the game cam. As you see, it's raining. And I came here earlier to check on the chickens. I'll tell you more about that later. But right now, we have to go to chickens. And my mom's gonna be a trooper today and help me out. So yeah, here you go. You should, uh, you should take this. Oh okay. It's gonna get bad. So, lucky my phone is waterproof. Oh, that's cold down. Yeah, it stopped a little bit. Good. Maybe I shouldn't have worn sandals. Yeah, not the best choice. Don't. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna have a poo poo spa day. Yeah, he needs to be out in the rain. He smells. Flooded. We gotta, we gotta go check out that squat down there. Just, <laughs> huh? just sloshing in the water. 
Well, you have to get something up there and pry it. Ready? Get something up there and pry it open. What? Um, a flat stick. Get that stick over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it pretty thick? Gabriel might have to get the sander and kind of, uh, sand it. yeah, sand it down a little bit. You didn't bring it? No. Thanks. He <laughs> just splashed me. <laughs> Ew. Rub it on my arm. Yeah, I know. No. Oh, they like the rain too, though. I don't want to help you, Andre. Do you want to that one out? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll be the first chicken, and my family will be up there. <laughs> Look what I do. <laughs> Um, for when it starts getting colder, yeah. we might, we should get a, like a tarp, not that kind of tarp that Gable got, but the, the other kind. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells really bad. It looks like he's like right next to us or something. We'll put it up right here. Just on this corner, we can leave that corner open. 
but at least to keep this corner and we'll put the heat lamp up here where it was before mm -hmm. that way they can it'll stay warm in this corner you know Joe. <laughs> he's right there. Look, he's just flopping her feathers. She's like having a bird. Oh, no. Yeah. Sure. Oh, all right. Okay. Joe. Where's that at? Mm, not that far. <laughs> to the road. Why didn't we feel it? Huh? Why didn't we feel it? There was thunder right after it. No, why didn't we feel it? Like, electricity wise. Oh, because it's not actually. Oh, we gotta go. We're good. And yes, I am wearing a jacket that zip shop. So yeah, we're good. Everyone's good. Chickens are good. We let one out, but they started storming, so. 